here with my June favorites video. I'm so sorry if my hair looks a little bit cray cray, but it's like a million degrees outside and I just can't bring my hair down without feeling like I'm suffocating in heat. So there's that. So for this month, I don't really have a lot of newer items for the month of June since I was actually really good and just kind of perused through what I have my collection just to kind of reuse what I have. I'm probably gonna try to be good for the month of July as well so that you know my birthday month is in August so I can reserve all the buying urges for the month of August so I'll just recycle what I have in my collection. First favorite of the month is my Urban Decay Naked Foundation. Um, I've been reaching for this one but not this particular shade. I have, I have it on my makeup bag that I take to work with me when I don't have time. But I've been using that one a lot because the one that one is a tester that I have from Sephora and it's this shade 7.5 which is a little bit darker than the one I have right here which is 7.0. I just love it. You guys all know about how I love my Urban Decay Naked foundation so I'm not even gonna go into it but yes I love that foundation so so much so for the month of June I've been really obsessed with the color orange so I'm just gonna talk about two orange colors that I've been really really obsessed with and first is an oldie but a goodie product this is the hard candy fox in a box um, blush in skinny dipping and has two um, it has two shades. I wouldn't necessarily call this a scary shade of orange, but it's a pretty peachy color, but it can be really, really bright orange if you don't apply it with a light hand. But I absolutely love this color, and I love the Fox in a Box line from Hard Candy. So definitely something worth checking out, and it's only $6. And then for an orange lip color, I have been obsessed with this color, and this one is called Siren by Revlon and it's their color stay lipsticks and I believe I got this in a, for really really cheap it was one of those 75% off. and then two other things for cheek products I have been loving these um, NYC blushable cream stick I'm not sure if these are still available but I just love this this particular shade it's called South Seashell and I believe this is just a really pretty kind of natural kind of mauve tan color and in the summertime it just kind of gives you it blush blends and so well with your skin after like applying your foundation or just a tinted moisturizer and just kind of gives you a natural flush and this one right here is a love and beauty product and by forever 21 and I got this for a dollar and it's kind of more like a highlight shade and this reminds me of the wet n wild reserve your cabana it is very very similar I'm gonna show you swatch but it's very very similar. It's just kind of like a nice pasty white color that is not so shimmery and that can be a really good highlight shade for the tops of your cheekbones or in the corners of your eyes. So I really love this and for a dollar it's definitely definitely worth checking out and I believe this is this the color this particular shade is called Shell. And then for lip products, I have been obsessed with just lip balms and lip balms in general. And I was kind of resisting. I know everyone's been raving about these Nivea um, lip butters. So, but anyways, I finally jumped on the bandwagon. And I know I have so many lip balms, but whatever. So I have this. I bought um, Caramel Kiss, which I haven't opened. And this one is Vanilla and Macadamia Kiss. And I particularly love this one because it reminds me of my um, favorite lotion scent, which is the suave one that they kind of discontinued. It just smells like butter and I don't know, I just really, it just smells so so yummy and I'm just really really fond of the fragrance and it's very moisturizing as, as well, with, which is an awesome plus. The next favorite is the Chorus Pomegranate Grenade um, Lip Butter and this one is just very very sheer but it's really really nice and moisturizing and it has a tint of color in your lips but not too much if you just want to you know something quick to get out of the door. It's very similar to the Maybelline Baby Lips in um, my favorite one which is in Cherry Me but this one's a little bit sheerer than Cherry Me and it smells a little bit better and I just really love these potted forms I'm not sure I've just been really enjoying dipping my fingers in this little thing so that is a favorite for the month so as far as eye makeup goes I have been loving my new Tude palette from The Balm I have just kind of went through my collection and decided to give this some love and I you guys probably are all familiar with this palette. It just has the neutrals and I absolutely love this palette. It is a must-have and if you guys can catch an Outlook, it's usually on sale for $18 and you get so many eyeshadows for $18. Bucks. So definitely, definitely wait till you 
find these on Outlook because it's definitely worth the money and it's something it's really nice and sleek and you can travel with it and has a huge mirror so and then this one right here is an eyeshadow that I'm kind of bummed out because I bought it twice because I because I already had it so anyways this is the CoverGirl squad in majestic hazels and I absolutely love the colors of this it has a mint color which is kind of a staple color for the summertime and yes I have two of them I might just give away this one in my summer giveaway so uh, but yeah I just really love these colors it has a nice taupe a mint and then a nice kind of not shimmery highlight but it's not completely matte so it's definitely it's a really nice color right there and then a nice deep brown to deepen your outer corners and then as a crease color as well so I definitely love this I'm not sure if they're discontinued this because I found that particular one in, on clearance so and they may just be repackaging the product so I don't know maybe you can still check them out. you can probably still find them if you still have them and they're really cheap right now too and then and as a mascara this isn't a complete favorite this is I bought this a while ago but I uh, bought this a while ago, never use it because I still had some mascaras to, you know, use. So def it was time to break into this little bad boy. But this one is the Maybelline Colossal Cat Eyes Mascara. Everyone raves about this. I particularly do not like this on the top lashes because I find that it makes my lashes very, very spidery. It makes them long, but it just doesn't give that much volume, and it does. It kind of just clumps them together in like like a sp like a spidery lashes that's kind of like I guess a perfect description of what it does to my top lashes but I absolutely love this for my bottom lashes because the wand is actually really tiny I mean it's not like really small but it's smaller than what my favorite mascaras are like the um, lash blast volume but the one is tiny and curved and it naturally gives my bottom lashes a really really nice definition it doesn't clump them or anything and it just gives them a really nice length and definition and it doesn't smudge on your lower lash line so that's what I love this for I don't love it for my top lashes so I guess this is my bottom lash mascara favorite for the month and as far as the nail favorite um, this I'm not sure when these came out, but I'm pretty sure these are, these are still a little bit brand new. But they are the Sinful Shine with Gel Tack Nail Polishes. They, the line has really, really beautiful colors, but I went with the more muted colors, which I got. Sailor's Delight and I'm Blushing. Sailor's Delight is a really nice baby pink color, and then I'm Blushing is a kind of nice ivory white color. And I found this in my local Walgreens, and I really, really do love it. Love the colors. The pink one is a little bit streaky, but you're gonna have to apply a few coats to get the opacity that you want. But I like, I love the idea of these. They're really, really shiny, and they give your nails such a nice kind of sheen to it. Mm. And it does and they last quite a long time as well and for $2.99 a piece I think these are definitely worth the money the regular sinful colors line is usually $1.99 so these kind of upgraded versions are a little bit more expensive per dollar but definitely not gonna break the bank and definitely worth checking out so as far as the fragrance favorite of the month I have been loving this live pink I'm not sure if it's is it live pink or live pink live pink in sunshine flower I got this during their semi-annual sale and I got this for like eleven dollars I love this fragrance this fragrance screams summer it's just so fresh and it's just kind of when it hits you it's just like BAM it's like citrusy and floral at the same time I just absolutely adore this fragrance and it has a really nice die down I don't think the lasting power is as good but for the most part I just absolutely love this fragrance definitely some a nice pick-me-up on a summer day it's definitely refreshing and it just kind of hits you in the face so if you guys if it's still around definitely get a whiff of it they usually have testers it smells so good like you guys if you like citrusy fragrances <clears throat> So as far as a food favorite for the month, I wanted to include this because this product is amazing and it's just really, really, really tasty. And this one is from Target and it's from their Archer Farms collection. And this one is the dark chocolate filled butter wafer cookies. And these, oh, these things are so good. It's like, <clears throat> even my husband was like, when he broke into a cookie and he's like, these are like heaven but these are so good um, they're basically just kind of wafer cookies and has like the little filling in the middle I'm not gonna open this cuz I'm trying to control myself because I've consumed maybe three boxes of these already and the box doesn't contain that much so I'm trying to not open this but it has 
a filling on the middle and you get the wafers it's kind of like ice cream hardened ice cream and you bite into it and it's not super sweet because it's dark chocolate <laughs> it's amazing so and it's only like two dollars at Target so I'm definitely obsessed with this product so I'm trying to control myself and not open this particular one <clears throat> and last favorite of the month which is the reason why I haven't been I haven't filmed so much for the month of June was the show is the show called Teen Wolf and they just recently put it on Netflix and Hulu Plus and I just recently discovered it and definitely on my days off everything it was all about Teen Wolf and werewolves and stuff so that's why I was MIA for a little bit but I am back now and I'm all caught up on the show and I'm definitely definitely really really excited and I love teeny bopper shows, especially the ones we like vampires and werewolves and stuff. So <laughs> that is it for my favorite show of the month. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.